Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Van Top's mirror mounted dash cam. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so installation is complete. The wires are hidden all the way down there. I have put the GPS unit right there, tucked the wires in behind the windshield. Now, this is the only thing I'm going to change, but the directions say to use this. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to use this, but I have it routed so I can take it underneath and give it power uh, whenever I want to have a power with ignition on. So anyways, so we plug it in. That is not powered all the time. And we're gonna turn the ignition on. Okay, so of course you're seeing the screens kind of, you're seeing the LED lights from the garage right there. But I've been messing around with this for a while now and this thing is really, really cool. And I should have probably washed my hands before I did this, but I already got the video rolling now. It's not, they're not that bad. Uh, right now I do not have a micro SD card in as it says. Over here, it gives me time and date, what day of the week it is, Sunday, miles per hour, okay? This is all touch screen, so hit there this is my settings right here and i went through and i put loop recording to three minutes um i got the audios turned on driving mode will be if you get in an accident a certain amount of g-forces it'll it'll start it'll record and lock it um, i have it at middle not high not low just right in the middle you can put your license plate on here so when you have a camera if you go to court uh shows it was in this car i guess 
I have it on H.264 as far as uh, bit rate. I think that's what that stuff is. I don't remember. Um, that's what my uh, software that I use to upload videos is. And then you got your frequency, USB mode, which I do not have on right now. Then sound, this tap sound is just when I tap the screen. So it's on, right? So let's just click this. Well, let's turn the speaker up so you guys can hear it. Turn the speaker on high. It sounds like a phone. Watch, hear that? So I don't really care for that. So we're gonna turn that back off. Okay, so that's off. Um, tons of stuff on here. And then you, since the GPS is on, you come up, you got your GPS test, your time zone, your speed calibration, and then speed unit. It was on kilometer an hour factory. I put it on miles per hour. Speak recognition is cool. I have that on because now I can sit here and I can, okay, so I gotta remember what you can say. Um, turn on reverse camera. No, that's not it. Uh, turn off screen. Turn off screen. Okay, so, okay. so the screen is turned off. You can turn her voice off too, which I will. Um, turn on screen. Okay. Front camera. Turn on front camera. I don't remember exactly how you say it. So let's just, uh, while you guys are on here, let's just do it. Because I didn't show you guys me installing it. And the reason why is because I don't want anybody to say, well, he said install it like this. Okay, so here's what you can say. So what I need to say is turn off screen, turn on screen. Where's the back camera? Uh, show rear camera. Okay. Okay. Turn off screen. Show rear okay. camera. Show rear camera. Show rear camera. Okay, turn on screen. Okay. Show rear camera. Okay. So now it goes to rear camera. Show front camera. Show front camera. Okay. And now that's just the front camera. And then if you don't want the camera on at all, which you probably don't all the time, there's a little button right here you can just do manually. You press that. Um, all the plugins are up here on the top. Underneath you have your microphone your power button, and then there's something else. I don't remember what that is right there. Uh, or you can just touch it to turn it on if you want to turn it on. Now I have it set, I should have it set to default. Let me turn it off really quick. Okay. Okay. I gotta turn that off, I don't like that. But anyways, can't, I just turn the ignition on. Welcome to one top. Okay, so by default, it's gonna show me the rear view camera. Okay, so I can just say, let's see if I remember how to do it. Turn off screen. Okay. okay. So there you go. Um, and I can, if I want to, I can go in here to settings. And the streaming media, that's to, to put it on the rear camera by default. So now let me turn this uh, speaker down to low. I had it on low earlier. So now if I turn it off, and this right here means that the GPS is active, that green. So that means in my garage, it's picking up GPS. I didn't want to mount this outside the car. So that's perfect spot right there for it. Okay, let's turn it back off. And it does have batter, a battery in it. Just FYI. Okay. So it does charge, but I'm gonna keep constant power to it. Now it should show us both screens when it turns on. Okay, so there's both screens. You got your rear and you have your front. You could leave it on like this if you wanted to. I don't really see a reason to, um, but what I can just say, turn off screen. Okay, okay. there you go. Uh, turn on screen. Okay. This thing is really freaking cool, man. I'm so glad they sent this to me. So I don't have an SD card in yet because we're gonna go for a drive here in a little bit, but this is to take a picture right here. You can just take a picture, say it's a license plate in front of you or something happened in front of you, take a picture. This is your microphone on and off. So if you're in here recording, it's gonna it's going to listen to what you're saying. This is your record button. So if something happens, you wanna hit record really fast, it'll record and lock uh, the video so you can't lose it. So really cool, you guys, I really like it. It was not hard to set up at all. Um, I probably had, I had to go to the store and get some uh, heat shrinks. I wanted to heat shrink the two connections uh, where I met the rear camera with the main wiring. I always like to heat shrink anything like that. And so I probably had a total of about an hour and a half of install time trying to, you know, mainly it was running the wire back and then getting the wire fed up here. So the only things that I didn't use, I'll show you guys, 
is I did not use the extension cable. And by the way, they sent this to me just in case I needed it. I think this is $10 if you have to buy it. And let me put this down really quick. I pretty much used everything else that was inside this box. So you guys are looking at a different box right now. I pretty much used everything that was in here. Everything but the extra straps for the mirror, which I'm glad it came with that. And then this right here is for the rear camera. It's a piece of tape and two screws. It came with two of these, so I guess you have backups. I didn't use that. I, I did use one of them. Um, and that's it. I pretty much used the rest. So what we're going to do now, I will take this, put an SD card in it, take it for a drive during the day, take it for a drive at nighttime so you guys can see the nighttime. A couple other things. I'm not going for a test drive right now because I have some other things I need to get done to my truck. So you might see the date on the camera is different than what today is. Um, one thing you do have to do, you do have to wire one wire, so it's no big deal. It's not like you have to wire everything. Everything else is plug and play, which is always really nice. Um, the one wire you have to is the red wire, which goes to reverse lights. So every time you put your car in reverse, the mirror turns on automatically, and it does give you a grid, and I will show you guys that when we go for the test drive. It's really cool. I love having that grid, but when it reverse isn't on, there is no grid. So you can turn your reverse camera on while you're driving if you want to and see what's behind you for the most part, depending on how you have your camera, your camera, how you have your camera facing. So I thought I'd go ahead and tell you guys that forgot because I forgot to mention that just a minute ago. All right, you guys. So it is the same day. I got everything done on the truck that I needed to get done and we should be ready to go. I'll show you guys in reverse the reverse grid and everything like that. I did not remove my old reverse or my old backup camera yet because it is uh, this is on when I bought it. It's probably 3M adhesive. I don't know what it's going to take to get that off. And I do have this connected to the cigarette lighter, like it says. Now, I will, once the video's done, I'm done making my review video, I will uh, splice this and run power to it constantly or ignition on power. But for now, that's going to work for this video. And I do want to say thank you to Van Top for sending this to me because so far, I absolutely love it. I've been messing around with it. It's really cool. But this is a sponsored video. I did not get paid to review this, but they sent it to me for free to make a video. So I always like to put that out there for you guys. So let's go ahead and start it up. Go ahead and open the garage. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Hopefully I don't shake you guys around too much. I will be going back and forth from the video. There's the garage. Oh, look at all those leaves. Um, I gotta get out because it's really windy. Um, I'll be going back and forth from video. There we go, check that out. There's the grid. From video to uh, the GoPro to the screen to you know just so you guys can see everything that is crystal clear that is amazing actually compared to my old one I don't know if the GoPro is going to do that justice or not but that is amazing I like how it says stop right here too so very cool I want to stop right here really quick before I get on the road see what make sure I know what I'm doing let's put it down and drive okay so I can say screen off or turn screen off. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how to do it. I always have to look, um, but I can also just do this if I want to. Just click that button. But let's click on this. It should be recording. Oh, I haven't formatted the card. Uh, let me do that really quick, and I'll turn the camera back on. Actually, you know what? Do this while you guys are on here, so you guys can see how it's done. So hit the settings button. Format SD card right there. Click on that. Quick format, confirm. There's a fly in here. We're gonna confirm that. That's what it says, quick format. Okay, well that was easy. Now we should be ready to go. Oh, it's already recording. You see that red dot right there? Okay, turn screen off. I don't remember how to do it. Turn off screen. There we go. Okay. So there's no red dot flashing when it's off, as you guys can see. We're we'll going to put it in reverse. It should be recording me in reverse, which is cool. Try to do this without crashing because I'm trying to watch the GoPro too. Okay. We're going to back out of my driveway and we're going to go this way. Yep, no cars are coming. Okay, turn off screen. Okay. Now, now I've got a regular mirror, as you guys can see. It should be recording. Turn on front camera, or turn on screen. Okay. So as you guys can see, you 
you see everywhere we're going. Turn on rear camera. <laughs> I was, dang it, man. Oh, well. All right, let's see. Let's take a corner here. I'm telling you, I can't explain enough how crystal clear this monitor is. It is unreal. Show rear camera. There we go. Show front camera. As you guys can see. It says 27 miles per hour. That's exactly pretty much what I am doing, it looks like. Yep. So the miles per hour is correct. So let's do a test right now. Let's hear the hear the actual volume or audio from the camera. So this is the audio from the rear view camera right here. You guys can tell how how it sounds compared to this audio right here. Now I'm gonna switch to GoPro. Here's the GoPro audio, and you guys can tell how the GoPro sounds. Now obviously I wouldn't want to stare at this the whole time I'm driving. So turn screen off. Turn off the screen. So there, now I can see behind me. So this is daytime driving. The sun's not out. It's kind of overcast and cloudy, but you guys are getting an idea. I am extremely happy with how crystal clear that is. I'm gonna show you guys this barn right here. I'm gonna slow down. Ever since I was a kid, I've always thought this basketball goal was really funny. He used to have a net on it. There's no net on it anymore. Or on my window down. You guys be able to spot it or not. It's right above the White Castle sign. <laughs> it's about 30 feet in the air. <laughs> Show rear camera. Turn on screen. Show rear camera. Show both cameras. See, look at that. That's freaking cool. I mean, it is awesome, you guys. I'm digging this thing a lot. Once again, I don't care for the looks when I get in, but now that I've got it on here, this is amazing. Now I'm gonna shut up for a minute and we'll listen to the audio and see if you guys are picking up the wind noise. Or the exhaust. Okay, you guys, so I'm back at the house, and this is one part that they should improve on. So, Van Top, if you're watching this, you need to improve this. So, the camera in my truck has this console right here, and this memory card is right here on top. It needs to be underneath here in the bottom so it's easily accessible. I'm not gonna wanna remove this mirror, take it inside, and hook it up with the USB. I'm not gonna want to. I wanna take the memory card out so I can put it on the computer. So what I have to do, and I may not be able to do this with you guys in my hand, because I do it with two hands to put it in. I gotta pull my mirror down, okay? This is the GPS right here. This is the rear view camera. This is your power. I gotta unhook the GPS so I can get into it. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this with you guys, but I probably can't. Take a coin. Yeah, I can't do it with you guys in my hand. I will have to do that without you guys. I need, I need both hands to do it. But that's the only part of this whole thing that I really don't like is that right, I probably can't show you. Yeah, that slot, that slot right there is where the memory card goes. So if they can improve that, that'd be great. All right, so here's the nighttime driving. I need to get that exhaust manifold fixed. Drives me nuts. Turn screen on. Turn on screen. Okay. Show front camera. Okay. So it looks like the night vision is actually really good. I don't have my GoPro, so you guys are hearing just the audio from the camera. Uh, it's really bright in my eyes. It's not, not terrible, but I wouldn't want to leave this on at nighttime for sure. It's a distraction for one. And two, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of bright. It's not terrible, but it's kind of bright. 
see what the rear camera looks like. Show rear camera. Okay. Okay, so you're getting, see, it's not going to be very good in my truck because I have a big LED light bar that goes across the back right underneath, actually right above that camera. So at nighttime, we're getting washout, light washout from that. So that really doesn't show anything back there at nighttime. Turn off camera. Turn off screen. Okay. See, I mean, that's, and, and that's fine now, uh, just like a normal looking mirror. I'm not going to show you a bunch of nighttime driving. Here, I'm going to turn my brights on. So you guys can see what that looks like. What I'm going to do here in just a second is I'm going to turn the headlights off and we'll see what it looks like. Taking the same drive we've made earlier. Obviously, I don't plan on the camera picking anything up with the headlights off, but we're going to try it just to see real quick what it looks like. Here we go. Can't, I can't see crap, so I got to go really slow. Yeah, the camera can't pick anything up. Where I live out in the country, there are no street lights out here. Just in case I forget to mention at the end, I don't think I will, but it's normally... $120 on Amazon when I just looked at it a minute ago it was on sale for like $109 for this setup. It's worth every penny. It's going to be evidence. You can get a car accident. Um, anything. You can take pictures with it. In fact, let's just take a picture real quick. Show front camera. Okay. Yeah, we're going to take a photo of that. Okay, it just made a sound, so I guess it took a picture see we're going towards the red sky pretty though beautiful all right you guys so i am extremely happy with this van top rear view mirror uh camera system it is awesome i mean i cannot say enough good things about it it really is the only, the only thing i have down to say about it is where the micro sd card goes that's it other than that it's a straightforward install other than putting the wires up above to hide them uh, in the headliner and running the wire to the back for the rear camera. Now, if you don't want a rear camera, don't care about a rear camera, all you got to do is hide the power wire and the GPS wire, and that's it. Now, I want to show you on my phone. So, it's $119.99 right now. It's on sale for $109.99. I don't know if the GoPro's picking that price up or not. Um, it says it's a 12-inch. Two and a half K mirror dash cam with voice control. Voice control works great. As you guys saw, if you can remember what to say. GPS tracking, full touch screen display, as you guys saw. There's a lot of options on there. I don't have time to go through all of those, you guys. But I will read right here what they sent to me. It is, a, it is model H612. And I will have it down in my Amazon store. If you guys are interested in buying it, you can buy from Amazon store. Um, a 2.5K Ultra HD Sony IXM335 front camera, so it's a Sony camera. That explains why it's so clear. Waterproof 1080p rear camera, 12 inch full touch screen display, voice control, GPS tracking. Also has park, parking monitoring, so if you have full power going this, which I will eventually, and the car shakes at all, or somebody's trying to get a door, brush, breaks a window, it'll start recording. Um, and it has time-lapse photography, loop recording, supports up to 128 gigabyte memory card, and then night vision, 170 degrees for the front camera and 160 degrees for the rear camera. Uh, that's, that's all they really sent to me as far as the, the product itself. I, like I said, I didn't show the install because somebody might install it themselves and they may mess something up. Like this, this truck has airbags where I put those wires. I do it every day for a living. It doesn't bother me, but you got to know what you're doing when you're working around airbags. Um, so I, I'd rather just not show the install. I think they wanted me to. But it's easy, you guys. It's plug and play, and I don't want to be responsible for somebody messing their car up. That's why I didn't show the install. But like I said, it's very easy. Uh, definitely recommend it. Two thumbs up on this product right here. Van, Van Top, I really, really appreciate this, this right here. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking this video out. Hopefully it wasn't too long and crazy for you guys, but hopefully you guys saw something. You're like, holy cow, I really like that because I had no idea. I, uh, I didn't go into this with really high expectations because you never really know what to expect. And I haven't put it off for two months. I just haven't had time to put to do it. I've had it since September 
15th, somewhere around there. Uh, so almost two months, about a month and a half. And I wanted to do it immediately and I just didn't get a chance to because life, life happens. And it's hard to make videos when you're doing other videos and, and, and you have school events and you have all this stuff going on in life. It's crazy, but Van Top, that's why it took me for a while to make the video. I apologize, but I absolutely love your product. Once again, you guys, if you guys want to check it out, if you want to buy it, uh, I'll have the link down in the description of the video where you can find it in my, on my Instagram. In, in my Instagram, in my Amazon store, you guys, I'm tired. In my Amazon store. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you in the next video.